Good morning everyone. Welcome back. Today in this presentation I will share with you how RSpeed can be used to build reusable AS6 user controls. For those of you who are familiar with AS6 user controls, these are basically more like a widgets which you can basically put them at various places and they all inherit from a single instance. This way if you modify that single instance it basically gets replicated everywhere in one shot. So to begin with, let's actually go back to the database. We are following our same example of the account account type and the user. So a user basically has different accounts and accounts belong to an account type. Say so for example, we want to make a simple view where the information is really coming from that I have a user account. Here's basically my, uh, my user account here. And I have a, of the account type ID and then how many accounts do I have? So what I'm really interested in is I'm interested in knowing what is my user account ID, what type of accounts I have, and how many accounts I have. So we can basically say number of accounts. So the output of this thing is something similar to where I have the uh, user account number one, has these many leads, these many prospects and so on. So say for example I would like to take this information and put them as a, as a user control so that any given screen if I want to keep track of this information it's a lot easier to work with. Let's basically save this so I can say user account summary. So That is basically my view user account summary. I will go back to RSP Designer, scan my database changes, accept them all go to database, bring my view and include this view in my application. Since my user account ID is really an ID I would like to create a virtual foreign key to my user account table. So it's a virtual account key to my user account table user account ID and I would like to have the display field changed over the display uh, the display as will be user account dot the name of the field here was in user account name so I would like to basically display it as name field rather than the ID field so this is basically a simple change. This has to do with virtual foreign key, virtual primary key. You can refer to that video for more details. At the end of the day, what we have done is we have included a view which is giving me the information and I'm basically displaying that information. In order to build a common control, what I can do here is I can go and create, uh, say for example, a new blank page or a new control. They call it ASCX. Right here, we have an option of new ASCX control. By default, we can just name it say user account summary. And this user account summary is nothing more than a blank page. So what I would like to do here is I would like to drag and drop my report from my view user account summary. And the basic uh, we can just say it's, a, it's even like a printable format. So of course system is saying there's no virtual primary key we can actually define a virtual primary key and the virtual primary key here could be my user account ID as well as my account type because between these two fields everything is going to be unique so in this particular case I'm building my basic default I'm going to show my headers column headers yes the panel headers if I want to or I can say no panel headers and you can basically go with whatever options work for you and the fields we are going to display are user account, account type, and number of account. No search, no filter, finish, done. So if I just build this thing as such, all we are doing here is, of course, there's an error message. Let me just uh, see pretty quickly what's going on. Let's just make sure everything looks good here. One of the things you have to be very careful about here is that when you bring a view in, 
RSP sometimes clicks on allow insert update and delete this is something must be set to no because we are not ever going to insert update or delete into this view so once again if you're getting an error message it's very important to go back to the view and make sure view does not allow insert update and delete so I'm going to click on rebuild and this time it will work it's a very common uh, issue it's not really an issue it's how RSP interprets the information so having that this control is on our ready as you can see it is an ASCX control the very first thing that comes to my mind is say right on my master page in my header or we can go even go to the header and here's basically my header header page or we can even go to my master page so let's actually go to my my main master page in this case it was a vertical menu master page here's my header what if right below the vertical menu I want to display my summary so over here what I would like to do is I would like to include my controls so if you go to ASPX and other gen control uh, and other controls you will find a under gen and include ASCX component control I can drag and drop right on the left side of footer or below the footer wherever you want rename it by right clicking on it and rename and I can say it is my user account summary and if you look into it if you go into the properties of this it's a uh, it's the ASCX file path we have to browse to the ASCX file that we just created in my case it was under security user account summary ASCX so I basically browse for it click OK now I can basically build it and run it just to see how it looks of course you should notice that we have put this on the vertical menu master page which basically means it will even display this information on my login page so I'm not logged in but as soon as I will log in uh, as, sorry uh, I'm not logged in that's why but the information is still visible so the very first thing we probably got to do here is set the security on this to say only show it to the logged in users uh, actually is, we cannot apply security on this page but what we can do is we can go to the user account summary control and over here we can apply the security to be visible only to signed in users so I can rebuild it and as you will see since I'm not logged in if I refresh my page my information is not going to be available after a refresh because I'm not logged in now as soon as I log in this information is always available to me now this is the concept where it's an ASCX control so say for example now we want to take this ASCX control and even basically build uh, on a user account say for example as soon as I edit a user account I want it to be only showing showing me the details of my user account or I can actually as a matter of fact I can put even multiple instances of this this particular uh, this control so if I go back to my edit account page then right on the right side I, I want to basically just pick some of the columns merge the cells include another a ASCX component in it rename it and call it user account summary 2 and of course go to the ASCX path bring in my ASCX control and save it and rebuild it so the purpose of a user control is that you define it once but you can throw it at as many places as you want and then the best part here is if you change the user control at one location all the instances of user control automatically gets updated so let's just validate whether that worked so as you can see we had one user control at the bottom and a footer one user control on the right side of the edit account page so those were the two instances where we did put this user control so here's basically one instance at the bottom if I go to the account and edit the account I should have two instances of course the information is exactly going to be the same because it's the same user control now let's just 
validate that if I change the user control itself all the instances will be modified in this case as you can see the information is shown to you by the ascending sequence of a user account so let's go back to my user account ASCX control right click on it or go to data sources and the query that we basically have we can apply the order by clause so I would like it to order by user account descending and then account type or a number of account descending so what I basically have done here is I have told the system that I want the output to be descending by the user account name and then within the name the higher number should come first and then the lower number so not only John Doe will come before Akash Gupta within John Doe the customer the number of accounts for customer leads were fine but for Akash Gupta they will basically flip and they should flip on both instances at the same time and that's exactly what we would like to validate the the uh, the concept of a user control that it only exists once but it's instantiated in many places and if you make the change to one of them it will replicate everywhere so as you can see just by me making a change to user control it has basically updated both sides user uh, the ASX user controls are very very powerful you just have to basically think a little bit uh, more generically how you can use them you can even actually take them to the next level by validating or by filtering against the incoming URL parameter so sometimes the user controls are defined once but uh, generically with the per incoming parameters they basically are made to display different information for different instances I hope you enjoyed uh, this video and you can see the power of building ASCX user controls it's a little out of the norm for uh, developers to think ASCX but please uh, do some research it's a really powerful way of uh, displaying information in RSP Designer. Keep watching and thanks for your time.